Okay, I want to make a video about how people steal cars these days. I just explained it to Denise. I think Denise knows, but most people don't know that you can copy a key electronically nowadays with a device that captures radio frequencies instead of actually taking the key and making a physical copy of it. So what happens is with most cars that are built recently, you actually have a transponder as your key. You don't have an actual key, so it's transmitting a video, or not a video, a um, signal. radio signal constantly and when you approach your car it responds to that signal let's unlock it and let you turn on the power button if you have one but people can people out there now have like basically did ways to digitally copy your key without you even knowing because they will intercept that transmission that your key file is giving off if they're near you when you approach your car they're hiding usually and then when you drive back to the same place because usually people have a habit of going back to the same places when you drive back to the same place and park your car next time you do that they will approach your car with their receiver and actually transmit that same signal, get into your car, and they can they push the power button and drive away. There's nothing you can do about it. And it's not even really breaking into your car because they have the key, okay? So they're actually not breaking into your car. I don't know if it's legally breaking in or not, but with the Tesla, they've actually stopped that. Like I have an older 2012 Lexus and that cannot stop that. If someone trans gets that radio frequency, they're gonna get in the car, they're gonna steal the car, nothing we can do to stop it. But with Tesla, they have that pin feature, which I use, and you should use it too, where you actually have to put a pin into the screen. So when you get into the car and push the brake pedal, it actually shows the keypad on here. We can't see it now because I'm driving and it appears in random places in the screen. It constantly keeps changing it, and you have to know that pin, and I, as a driver, can change that at any time. But somebody who's just got your radio signal won't know what that pin is, so they can get into your car still, but they can't steal it. So that's, that's the workaround, and only Tesla has it right now. I don't think anybody else has a workaround. You'll have to let me know in the comments if you know about that. But right for now, at least, that's the only way that anybody can prevent stealing a car that has a key fob with a radio transmitter. So it may be convenient for you, but it's also really convenient for thieves if they have the right technology. So what do you think about that, Denise? Yeah, good advice. I hope no one steals our Lexus. Okay, and here is the pin pad I was telling you guys about earlier in the video. You have to type in it, it appears randomly in the screen, and you have to type in your code, and that's what prevents anybody from just taking your car. They can get inside and vandalize it and steal all your stuff, but they can't drive away in the car. Right? Yeah. Yeah.